teacher. Uh, thank you all for being here. My first two questions are for uh, the Real Estate Association, and if I have time, I'd like to move on to the representative of the police forces. Um, thank you, Mr. Bork. You note in your brief that you speak for home buyers, property owners, their tenants, and customers. So, in a sense, you're speaking for all Canadians in a way because either we're home buyers, property owners, or tenants somewhere. Uh, and you've talked a number of times about the mythology around cannabis. So I'd like to put some evidence in front of you. The Task Force on Legalization and Regulation of Cannabis got 30,000 submissions. 92% responded that they were in favor of personal cult uh, cultivation. And just recently, the National Cannabis Survey uh, demonstrated that only 9% of Canadians either grow or get someone to grow it for them, and this is both recreational and medicinal. And I think we've heard the, the discussion around the difference between four plants and a grow-up. And four plants do not a grow-up make. I think I, we can all agree on that. And we're not looking at a breaking bad kind of scenario. Um, so I, I'd like you to consider your comments again within the limitation of four plants or less in a home. I, thank you. I, I think um, the four plants itself is part of the mythology. Uh, the fact is that there is no size limit to that plant and there is no limit to how many times I can grow that quickly. If I have nefarious goals in mind, then I will use whatever lighting, fertilizer technology is available to grow those plants as quickly as possible so that I can grow as much as possible. And that will be legal. And so, the end, there is no regulation currently around where I would grow that, what kind of ventilation. If, if I take the uh, Health Canada's current regulations uh, for uh, medical growing, and we have copies of this that we can circulate in both languages, Mr. Chair, which is, you know, these are the regulations. This is what you have to fill out in order to grow uh, medical marijuana. So what we're suggesting is, uh, listen, I, I, I completely understand the politics of uh, people wanting to grow, um, but we're unleashing something uh, without any regulation. And what we're suggesting is that regulation would help uh, separate the mythology for, of the four plants from what would be something that is safe and less benign, and, and Thank more you. benign, sorry. That was uh, very helpful. So you do support uh, the development of regulations that are national or provincial in this matter? In, to in, in my remarks, I mm -hmm. gave a specific Mm -hmm. uh, amendment that senators could okay. consider, which would uh, essentially require uh, provincial regulation before okay. this part of the act is enacted. And I think once those regulations are in place, then perhaps we could do this more safely. And, I, and I, coming back to the police, you know, one of the things that they said they learned from Colorado is proceed slowly. And one of the lessons from Colorado is that uh, they had a higher a number of plants initially, and then they've reduced it. So why would we go through all this and make the same mistakes that they've already made? Let's just put some regulation in place first, and then uh, proceed accordingly. We're already going to uh, make legalization of marijuana, uh, and therefore marijuana available all across Canada. This is a, a very big, big-scale uh, experiment. And the, you know, the, on the plus side, legalization, you know, has the opportunity to remove organized crime, uh, yes. to provide education, to provide medical research, but it can also increase the gray market, increase access to kids, destroy property, and have impacts, negative health impacts on vulnerable populations. And I think we could mitigate all of those things if we regulated before we allow people to grow at home. I see a signal from uh, Deputy Chief Sir, who would like to respond, if that's okay. 
If it is, thank you. Uh, and we just want to reiterate what Mr. Bork is saying, that, uh, that it has been our experience uh, over the years that people are continuously uh, overproducing with medical grows. Um, and again, as the Association of Chiefs of Police, uh, we are saying that we are not saying never. We're saying allow the regulations, allow the legalization to unfold, allow us to better understand how the impacts will affect uh, public safety, and then we can uh, take a uh, an evidence-based approach on what we want to do next. Um, again, also, I think uh, four plants is very subjective. Uh, we are seeing very large plants that are being produced, and plants that are typically producing much more than the average heavy user would consume on a regular basis. So there is going to be overproduction. That is a fact, and the fact is what will happen with that overproduction, I think, is critical. Uh, and as a law enforcement, we want to ensure that we're not seeing that overproduction. Okay, next.